five words. Get your tiny to Alaska. And the rest of you with it. <laughs> Whatever you have to mm. save or sacrifice. Seriously, if you are a cruiser, book that Alaska cruise. It's gorgeous. It's amazing. Look it is this. gorgeous. Check this out. That's just a small piece. Welcome to day four. We are in Skagway today, and we are doing the White Pass train. Can't wait. Can't wait. Come on. Breakfast lesson. Only get what your stomach can handle rather than your eyes. Unfortunately, I'm leaving an entire donut. It's twofold though. One, I'm full. Two, these are not like American donuts. Like an American donut would like tear apart and the glazed icing would stay on top. This is like the... Wood chip. Yeah, <laughs> wood chip. I don't know what the icing is called, but it's a different kind of icing. And it wasn't warm, unfortunately. It, it is still sweet, so if you want a little something, I, I will tell you possibly what to get instead. JJ already ate his. It was a waffle. Belgian waffle. A Belgian waffle with a syrup with strawberries in it, as well as, what was the brand of the syrup you got? Smucker's, Smucker's Sugar Free. Sugar Free, like regular pancake syrup too. Anyway, that looked like the sweet part of breakfast. Henry X is a staple on all of Royal Caribbean ships and he keeps me squared away and clean. I like him. We were really glad after the restart to see Henry again. Yes. We hadn't seen him for 714 days. Right. It's too long. Thank you, Henry. Getting ready to go into Skagway for the train ride. For the purpose of weather gear, layering, what are you wearing today? I'm wearing a cotton t-shirt underneath, a flannel checkered shirt over the cotton t-shirt, and really warm flannel vest. And what do you have in your bag? A windbreaker. Yes. With a hood, gloves, and 180 ear muffs. Okay. Yeah, so in case, and I know it will, you'll get colder going uphill on the train, so we're well prepared. Your footwear is not waterproof because we'll be on the train. New balance. So tennis shoes, summer weight basically. Right. I mean, right. they're not waterproof. No. And I am also wearing layers on the top mainly. All I have here is jeans because again, we'll be on the train and or at the back platform of the train to film the beautiful landscape. And I have my taller boots on so that at least the lower part of my legs are warm. So for the base layer, I have a wick away, just like a workout shirt and then a flannel over that. And then a short, just a regular vest, uh, like a puffy vest over it and then I'm taking my puffy jacket because it's a little longer also, and I'm taking my hat in case I need it. Again, as we get higher elevations near the snow-capped mountains, which we're excited about to film, and gloves, of course. Getting down to the gangway, and it is only 9.29, and we have no idea what we're going to do because we've never been here before. Well, we're going we're gonna to peruse the port. We're going to look for fun or adventure the great american battle cry what's that at ports of call charge charge oh oh that means i'm gonna be doing some shopping <laughs> we don't have to meet for our train ride until 12 30. so we're probably gonna need some sustenance before that goes we'll see what we can get into eat cruise sleep repeat repeat <laughs> right off the ship oh my goodness y'all just beautiful green everywhere. Craziness and beautiful ship then right behind us in all her glory right here. So this trip, they had two gangways for us to come down. And JJ's buttoning up a little, yeah? Yeah. A little bit I'm chilly. At what's behind the ship. I know. All this beauty. Oh so my, oh my goodness. Y'all look at that. I mean, I know this iPhone 13 is not getting it. Sorry, even if you don't cruise, I'm all about it. I say, come to Alaska, right? right on. No matter how you can get here, <laughs> come here. So you get off the shuttle right here and you will see these long lines, but these people are getting ready for excursions to meet them here. And look, that's the view you get to look at while you're waiting for an excursion. Or he instructed us that this is where he will meet us this afternoon. 
And this area over here is the shuttle to go downtown, which is where we are going because even though it's a five minute walk, JJ's knees are not gonna take it. <laughs> they can't handle it. So this is the area if you want to take the shuttle where you meet. If not, he said it was like a five minute walk into town. So you could just take off down that road right there. Shuttle to town. Yep, three dollars one per one way and five dollars all day. Per so person. five dollars per person for yep. all day, all day transit. This is downtown Skagway. This is where you will come from if you walk into town. This is where the smart bus just dropped us off. And those are what your smart bus signs look like. But this is the view. Wow, the look glacier. at that. There's a glacier. See it? The bus driver told us that that right there is Harding Glacier. Harding Glacier. Named after President Harding, who intended to go to Juneau, but ended up here first by accident. <laughs> so they named the glacier after him and had a big glacier party. But this is downtown. You've got all kind of shops. Klondike clothing. That was a jewelry store. And this right here is the building. If you haven't already purchased train tickets, that you buy your train sure. tickets. So it's just a quaint little downtown area with shops. So we're gonna walk around. funny that I forgot to buy travel hairspray before we left and so part of our shopping spree here I don't need hairspray <laughs> part of our shopping spree here in Skagway is to find a store that might actually have hairspray we're fixing to go into a uh, what's it called a trading company we're on the hunt for hairspray Thanks stay cool. tuned what'd you find I found a pair of socks for my father-in-law he would love it supposedly the famous Red Onion Saloon. Oh, it is. Sure, you know, you have to know the history of that place? Upstairs, I believe it used to be a house of ill repute. Hold on, I'm not sure we can hear you because of the big red Alaska truck that just went by. A house and of you, ill repute. I believe so, and the madam ran the place. Oh. And you can still see the red lights in the upstairs windows. I do recall yeah, hearing know. that. Bow chicka bow bow. Bow chicka bow bow. <laughs> so we've been told that this is the way to hairspray. So we'll see. First of all, though, we need to see this wood building because I've seen it on YouTube and it looks amazing. It's a visitor information center, but it's completely made of wood, wood pieces. Well, I don't know what's under the wood pieces, but this is definitely wood. I guess it's real wood. I don't know. Is it plastic? It's real is it many? Driftwood. The whole building. Mm -hmm. Very, Very interesting. Cool. Victory. Ten dollars and some change, and it doesn't matter because I would have paid twenty because I had to have it. Grizzlies Mercantile on Fifth Street. If you're lacking anything, anything you've forgotten, it's probably going to be cheaper than on the ship. Oh, absolutely. Come on down. What exactly would a back alley rock shop be? We're gonna go see. The sells rocks, I'm sure. Rock, walk of fame. Uh, is it for your yard? Is it for rock collectors? We don't know. Wow. Okay, literally a rock shop. Not like Led Zeppelin, right? Not Here that kind of rock. Hey, you want some green rock? There you go. There's some green rock. That's coral. You want some coral. decorative rock? This actually it's quartz. tells you rose it's quartz. quartz yeah. and jade. That kind of tells you too. Sodalite. And I can't even read that. 
colostite. So this is your place if you need any kind of rock that you can carry home in your luggage, that is. And this is even more fun. It's a wishing well and it's labeled for what your wish might be. Seeing a bear, is that your wish? Being kissed by a sled dog, finding gold, seeing an eagle, cheap oil, seeing a whale, good health, pee in the Yukon River. That's a wish. Hmm. Finding an Alaska man and finding an Alaska woman. Lunch decision before we get we have to meet for the train because it's 11:22 right now and we have to meet at 12:30 and we have to catch the tram enter caramel popcorn for lunch this is my kind of lunch i'm just saying right of my kind of lunch this is your kind of lunch caramel popcorn in skagway in line for the Railway. The white pass. The, the huge line. That's what I would call that. Yeah. <laughs> These are all the sides. People waiting for the white pass. So hanging out at the marina. Us and half the ship gonna be on the train. We are on the train. White Plains train tour. White pass. Yeah, sorry. I haven't White been drinking. White Plains, White, whatever. It starts with a P. <laughs> I haven't so, been drinking. We will show you the place in line that we had to stand, and then they bring you over all at one time in a group, and you get on whatever chairs are available. So you can't necessarily choose if you're looking to choose. However, both the front and the back platforms are open. So if you want to get up and move about, once they get out of town, they said that we could. We could go film outside. So. We're getting started.
are exiting the train and this is the traffic pattern. <laughs> you have to get off the train and then around and then back down there for the shuttles. We got off the train and I showed you the pattern of traffic but you can't imagine the line. It's so long that we're not going to make it back for all aboard. We're on a Royal Caribbean excursion, so it doesn't matter. They'll wait for us, but they're going to wait for everybody because this is the current line that's waiting for the shuttles to go up to the ship because of the rock slide. They don't let people walk up to the ship. You have to take the shuttle. Line starts way back here and goes all the way down here and past because you can see you can see the shuttles right there in the white each shuttle carries maybe 20 people so we'll be standing in this line for probably an hour i looked at my watch right before i started this little video and it was 4 10 so we'll let you know when we actually get on a shuttle we are on hey baby the shuttle. Hey, baby. We're Did you have a good time in Skagway today? I'm trying to like talk to the people and hey, like, people. educate them. Hey, people. We had a good time. <laughs> We're on the shuttle and it's 4.32. We got in line at 4.10. We're on the shuttle One at 4.30. So that's, that's pretty quick, actually. We'll probably be there just in time for dinner at 5. I walked in the cabin at 4.49. JJ and I both took the stairs. He had to stop because his knees are killing him. I just came straight up nine flights with the backpack. I mean, I thought the line was gonna be crazy long. I mean, again, our dinner reservation's at five and it's 10 till, so we're good. This will be our first main dining room visit. And we're just gonna stay like this, dressed like we have been for port, which is what people have been telling us before this cruise was that Alaska cruises are much more flexible with dinner wear, much more casual because and this is exactly what they would say. People come in from port and they go straight to dinner. So that's what we're doing. I had to bribe an elevator to scoot back and let Oh, me... so what'd you, what floor did you stop on? Five? Uh, we stopped on five, six, and seven. No, I mean, did you stop and catch an elevator? Yes, yeah, on five. We're headed to dinner. Sweet. Let me get my hair fixed. Okay. So we can get to dinner. We still wanted to do a quick review of the White Pass train. Are you sure that's the name of the car? Not really. It's a white pass. <laughs> Pretty sure it's yeah, a white pass. Yeah, the way you were talking about I know, because you said white planes. White pass. This morning, it's white pass. If you like nature at all, like even like a four or five on a 10 scale, do the white pass train. Unbelievable. Or am, I, am I missing a word or nope. adjective? That would be amazing would be another Unbelievable. word. Unbelievable. Yeah. We're going to do a separate video that's just all white pass. Because train. it warrants. So the people who are searching about the excursion can have more information and kind of get a feel of what it looks like. But here's the answer. Yes. Yes, it's worth it. It's worth it. Yes, it's worth it. Okay, we're going to dinner. And JJ just made a declaration since we have an abundance of onboard credit. What are you looking at for dinner, Mr. Wagner? Oh, I believe I do the chops filet mignon. Mm, which is, I think, $16.99 now. I think it may be a little more than that now. In the MDR, I think. Yeah, we'll $16 see. or $17.99. I right. think it's like And possibly else lobster, which you can also buy extra in the MDR. Yeah, I'm going to spend your money and do it. Do you feel like you're just taking a breath? I'm exhaling. We've just, like, run ourselves silly. Yeah. And this is UK night in the main dining room. Royal Caribbean's new menu style is a different country, I guess, every night. What'd you order, JJ? The surf and turf. I'm gonna give it a shot. You went with the full Monty. <laughs> That's not really the right word. Be careful of that. <laughs> I went with the cheese sticks. What'd you order for appetizer? Oh, you forgot to ask oh, me. Salad. Escargot and, and salad. Escargot. He's always got to have his snails. Yep. He's got the snails. So I ordered mozzarella cheese sticks, which was the recommendation of Armand, our waiter. Are we going fancy with cheese sticks now? I guess we'll see. And fettuccine alfredo for main course and English trifle for dessert because all they had was dark chocolate, chocolate cake. We had no lunch. Have I mentioned that? 
We had caramel popcorn in Skagway. We are stacking up on the calories. <laughs> trying to think of the phrase, right? We are stacking up on the calories for dinner because we had no lunch. We'll let you know how it is. We're so busy digging in, we forgot to show you. I got no time to talk because I'm eating some escargot. Did you already taste it though? And thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up. House dinner salad. JJ's second appetizer. With ranch. Oh, okay. So it's... I'm a ranch kind of guy. It's good quality? Very good. Good tasting? Ranch sticks to the lettuce. It, it passes the Texas test. Lobster surf and turf. And the lobster Got a is not tiny, but a little small. A prime tenderloin from Chops. And uh, this is what we call a jumbo shrimp in Texas. In Texas. <laughs> Fettuccine Alfredo. So we're going to see. Let's see. Let's take a taste. You better let me test that first. Let's take a taste. See how the sauce is because the, is it the thick? secret's in the sauce. Is it, is it thick? No talking. That means very good sign. Double thumbs okay. up. That's some good sauce. Longer. A little bit longer. Yep, and, it's, and that'll be perfect. perfect. Thank you. DJ had a slight mishap with his steak. What was the problem? It was overcooked. Okay, so you ordered it. I ordered it medium rare. And? It came medium. And you've been waiting probably 30 At minutes. At least 30 minutes. For the new one. They brought out the new one. And it was rare, not medium rare. So you said a little bit longer. A little bit longer and it should be so perfect. So let's hope they literally put that one back on the grill. Yeah, they will. They will. Instead of starting a new one. Nope. That's much better. Much better. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. Fettuccine Alfredo was amazing. Not like my Italian restaurant at home, but just as good. I don't know. I don't cook, so I don't know what was different or missing. But it, I, you know, I could taste the butter. I could taste the whatever cream. I mean, it tasted like Alfredo sauce. It was wonderful, and the noodles were cooked just right. So, excellent. New menu. Our first experience with it. This is called English trifle, I believe, the dessert, and it was covered with whipped cream on top, like this. And then, I'm not sure, some yellow stuff, and then what tastes like fruit jello. Not my favorite. Not even on my list. <laughs> Nowhere on the list. We'll not be having this again. FYI, for you. Sticky toffee pudding. Okay, and is it good? So good, I'm not sharing it. We have onboard credit, so we are shopping. Or I am shopping. You're gonna shop? You just had steak and lobster. That's what you did with your onboard credit. I'm thinking. No, I spent yours. I'm thinking. Uh, okay, then I'll go spend your shopping. Okay. So shopping is done and pretty quick. I'm not super impressed with the stores. It's fun. It's fun to shop anyway. The logo store is at the very end when you think you're running out of stores. And it's very small. I told the worker, I was like, you need to uh, start a petition for a larger logo store. I mean, just a little Caribbean ship. Anyway, in the meantime, this is what I went shopping for. Coconut cookies. And they're soft tonight. They're soft. So, JJ's knees are killing him. He's literally limping like this. He's walking like this. <laughs> So we're going to the cabin. Okay, I got the coconut cookies. He's not going to find me. And I'm at the cabin. I'm out for the day. We are in Sitka tomorrow. And we're doing the Sound Science Center. Say that three times. The Sound Science Center in Sitka. Look at this moon. At sea in Alaska. And that's snow, y'all. That's it's snow, snow y'all. That's snow, y'all. On top of the mountain. This is off our balcony. Seriously. This is the scene we're looking at right now to close our day. That is a heck of a way to close out the night. That's a good nightcap. We're out. Peace out. Blessings. And we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>